Hi. It occurred to me while um, watching my first instructional video on learning some of the secrets on how to play the native style flute that I was playing pretty fast. And many people have no desire to play at that speed. I totally get that. I, I can totally sympathize with, with that argument. However, when I'm saying to learn a scale and speed it up, I want you to go well past what you feel is, is normal for you. Beautiful scale. Learn it faster. Learn it well beyond what you feel that you're going to need and your fingers are going to be able to respond better if you want to add a few quick passing notes in the tune that you're doing. As an example, uh, let's see. nice and soothing little tune with a few little quick uh, flurries of notes in, in passing there. It adds to the interest in your tune. Again, you're getting away from hitting that wall or getting stuck in a rut. Add some interest to your tunes. Add something a little bit different and unique. Another thing that I didn't really cover that I used a lot in in my playing in the last video even, and I didn't really mention it, is, is using barks or pops. When I end some of my songs, and I try not to do this all the time, but I might do something like this. Now you'll notice a couple of different things on that. I added some little pops. And it'll depend on the flute that I'm using and, and the effect that I want to do. So that's like a little bark or a chirp. At the end, I release all of my fingers and I do kind of a, a burst of breath. All at the same instant. And, and it creates kind of that dramatic, uplifting ending of the song. And I'm sure you've heard a lot of different artists using that. Um, the pops are kind of the same thing. use just a little extra breath as I am slightly raising and lowering a finger. Could be any finger. I like to use all of them depending on where I am on the flute, what's comfortable for me, the sound that I'm trying to get. That one isn't very different than this. It's a lot more subtle.
using this one can sometimes get a little touchy on the flute because it might want to break the fundamental, the lowest note, to the higher octave if you're going back to that. You have to really back off when you go back to that lowest note. Sometimes I'll do all of my fingers with the exception of the third one down, or if I'm in mode four, the fourth hole down. Another thing that I like to do in some of my, my uh, playing is instead of easing into a note, I'll use some tonguing tricks and things. Um, depending on, on, on just the feel that I'm trying to get. It, it adds a little bit more interest to the song. So some little finger trills as I go to the next note. Some tonguing for accents, things like that. Moving in and out of notes, again, you can. It, it's going to be from your breath, the way that you do that, tonguing. Uh, two, a lot of people say, or ta. You want to try and keep those as dry as you can. You know, make sure you're swallowing periodically. Um, you don't want to be spitting into your flute. Um, and with your fingers, you can ease in and out of notes. That was sudden. You can kind of ease in with sliding in and out. You can do that practice on every single hole. Another one that, that I found that I like to do periodically I'll do a half hole up here. A lot of people uh, struggle with half holing. If you want to start learning some of the Western tunes, um, many of them use half holing. Some people skip over the half holing, and it, it's okay. Um, I, I personally like to try to use the half holing and use the actual notes that the song was written in or as close as I can get to it. Up at the top end here, it kind of adds tension to that note. And you can either resolve it by by going all the way up to that opening that hole, or you can you can start a new phrase and leave that other one kind of intention 
and then start another one to help start to relieve it. So again, I hope these have helped. Uh, I know I can't answer everything in, in one video, but check them out as we go. Again, in the comment section below, if there is something that, that is of interest to you or that you're struggling with, I may or may not be able to help, but I'll do my best. Let's, let's do what we can to help learn to play the flutes the absolute best that we can. Thanks for watching.